coming through here. Once two, fingers just not long enough. Yeah, it's gonna be going way too deep at that point. Let's get this puppy going. All right, so this is a um, little four-stroke weed eater. It's a Craftsman, but um, it's probably the same design as like those Troy belts. It looks like um, he picked my dad picked this up off the street. Um, it has like a little hedger attachment too, but just kind of looking it over. I put a little gas in it a while ago and it fired up. So that tells me that we need to start looking at fuel lines, which I believe are already broken in there. It has no air box and I haven't really checked anything else, but um, we can go ahead and go get started. Um, I know with these, you have to kind of check the oil. It says the fill line should be there. Is that like a sight glass or something? It doesn't look like it. I don't know how I'm supposed to check that for a fill. Oh, it's supposed to be an oil hole right there. So you just take it to the top of the hole. So, okay. I don't see anything in there. So what I'll do is um, put a little oil in before we run it. But the big things I want to do are look at this, pull apart this carburetor and um, check these fuel lines. I know they're broken in there, so we're gonna have to replace that. And you know what, maybe we'll do that first. Just kind of assuming, because the primer bulb feels okay. Maybe there's a chance this carb's okay. Let's do fuel line, and then we'll get going. All right, let's take a look. Nice and crusty. Gas gets stuck on here. I'm not even gonna worry about it. Okay, so this is uh, the fuel line here. And I can show you, see if I can get this out. Because that <laughs> has the fuel filter on it. So, let's see, I can't really even reach into that. This feels like it might be okay. We're just gonna replace this one for right now, just to see if we can get the fuel line off, or see if we can get gas going through it. Gotcha. Now we'll dump this out. See if we can get it out. Gotcha. That's a lot of fuel line. Okay. Seems like it's in one piece. Let me get some line that's similar to this. Right. So I have this little box to store all my supplies in. So I'm gonna take this, see if I can match it. It's kind of on the thinner side. I think I have that with the the chainsaw that I have. Let's see. That looks pretty close. I think we'll take it. Now yeah, we have a filter in here. Well, I'll just use this one. I don't have to try to yank that off. Okay. Get you back over here. So now what we're going to do, there's a little hole right here. Um, what we do with these is you want to cut at an angle. So now you have kind of like a little 
angle to get it started. Let's see if I can get a good start here. I'm gonna need enough just to, so I can get some needle nose pliers on it, but put a little WD-40 on there. Sure enough, this thing broke. I don't know. Got it. That was sweet. I used this little magnetic or magnetic tool to get that thing <laughs> through there. All right, so filter. Something like that, so we're good to go. Let's see where she sits in this tank. It's probably not going to be too far off, honestly. Push her down, and I actually don't think that looks bad. So now we're going to up here what I'm gonna do is give her a little bit extra eh, probably wants it to go like this doesn't it so what we'll do is cut that off oh, this thing's dead so let's pry this little puppy off huh Look at these. Oh yeah, definitely would have worked, huh? <laughs> yeah, that's okay. This one's way easier. So with this one, um, this is just a return line. So when you prime it, what you're doing is you're actually um, pushing fluid out through here and now it has to fill this cavity because now it's like a vacuum. And look at that primer bulb. Um, this one might need to be replaced, but we'll see. And it might loosen up after we get some fluid in there. But um, you want to push out. So if we have enough here, I think we're good. Okay. So this barely has to go in. You don't have to do anything to this one. So I got my tip. Line you up here. Just got to get it around the hole. I'm probably going to go just a smidge down just to make sure that she doesn't pop out. The little pull. So that's about it. In fact, I can barely start seeing it, which is good. So we're going to go around here, and then we'll go around the top, something like that. So let's cut that right about here. What I'll do is I'll go get some gas. Oh yeah, we got to check the oil, huh? Let me go get some oil first. I'll show me checking the oil. Okay, so new fuel lines in. Let's see if we can peel this off without breaking it. Doesn't look like it. So that's supposed to go in here. What I will do, let me get you guys lined up and then we'll check the oil.
Sweet. So then we'll pour a little bit in there. Yeah, that's all I'm going to do. It's probably going to be too much. Let's see where this is at. I'll probably do a little bit more. Cool. Good. Let's see if this card. Oh, too much oil. That's going to be too much. <laughs> That's going to be too much. Let's get some rags. Ready to go. It's okay. It really isn't all that bad. I think to spare myself the mess, we're just gonna keep it like that. It's barely trickling out. Cool. Now we go put this stuff back. I think it should. Let's see. Flip. Joke's on. All right. <sighs> Open it up. Little car cleaner. I found the bulb here. Um, camera's over here. Looks like it's about the right size. So, swap her out.
and that's good. So you see gas coming in and out. Everything's working really well. It's holding. Rock and roll. Sweet. Um, we have a new cover coming today. So after doing this, I'm thinking that um, this bad boy should be ready to go. All right. So we're back. I got the air filter that came in. This is the housing. This is the old one. Here is the new one. Looks pretty good. So what I'm going to do, let me get the Torx head for it. Yank those out. Put the new one in. Uh, we'll do one more cold start to it. Make sure everything's okay. And then see you back into my dad. All right. All right. Let's take this off. Uh, lefty is this way. Let's see if I can do this without everything falling off. Hopefully it's all stuck. So I can just swap out this air filter. Housing, air filter, housing. Oh yeah, that's right. Okay. A couple of things here. So we have, since it is a four stroke, you have to have the uh, um, the crankcase pressure. So um, the pressure up here, um, it's always gonna be positive because of blow by. So um, since there's no uh, exhaust port, say like a two stroke, because as a two stroke goes up and down, as soon as it fires, you have an opening for the exhaust. Um, and then that pushes new air in. Here you just have the valves, so there's no escape for any blow by what that is is um, air that goes past the cylinder rings during combustion um, what ends up happening is you get positive pressure if you don't have a place for that to go which what this does is it routes it back into the intake all four strokes do it um, then you can start blowing out seals and everything because you'd have so much positive pressure um, building up inside the crank so that's what that does. And since this weed eater is a four stroke, it is not an exception. You still have to have one. So I just attached it. Pretty painless so far. Let's get you back just a smidge so I can tighten it up here. Good. These don't have to be terribly tight, just enough to make sure they stay on. Here's the choke lever. So you have half, full, full open. Okay. What we're gonna do, put this back on. I believe it starts up here. good so let's go give her a cold start it's not really cold it's like nice up here so um let me get you guys set up outside all right so according to this we're open jokes on a couple of pumps here all right see if we can get it going
bump up the idle a little bit, which is awesome. Um, responded well. It uh, took the attachment perfect. Everything runs great. Startup's nice and easy. I actually shut it down and started up to put the attachment on. Starts great. Barely has any gas and seems like it has no problems um, with the float or the, uh, the, the filter. It's on a float, it's a sink, but um, cool. We're gonna try to give this to him um, today or tomorrow and get it off the workbench. And then we're gonna check this out. Um, it was having trouble idling last time I used it. I think it just is probably a tuning issue. I don't think that there's any major leaks. Um, it's gonna be a lot harder to test this one since we don't have any fuel lines um, or any sort of line going into the cylinder. So I, I can't um, cheat and use like use a, um, a vacuum line. Um, and the carburetor is not very easily accessible to work on like that. Um, so what I'll do is I'll try to give another uh, shot at tuning um, and see if we can just get her to idle. I think I had it last time, but when I tried to fire them up, I just didn't let them warm up. So that's going to be my, my goal next time I go to cut some wood is I'm going to let them warm up for a few minutes before I really start going at it. So I'm going to get a tune on it and then we're going to work on warming up these things. So, all right, until next time, guys. I'm curious. And this might be really dumb. Let's see what happens if we jump them. Yeah, that was kind of dumb. <laughs> Did I pop it? Yeah, I think I killed it. 